What's up guys, you're watching another episode of Third Coast Fishing and today we are going to be going over our new shark rack. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Okay, so last week we built this shark rack. This is our first day using it is today. It took us about a week to build it. You know, we're going to go over everything that I did and how, you know, kind of how I did it and just a little talk through basically. The main reason I built this was uh, to, to keep my rods really high over the waves. As you can notice, this is the top of my truck right here. So we are up pretty high. I would say we're probably up about seven feet is the floor. And then you have another four foot to the top of the rods and then whatever the length of the rods is up. So you're gonna bring that average cut ratio way down when you get way up like this. So. I mean, there's just a lot of benefits to having a shark rack. You get to stay out of the sun. I'm up here right now. It's midday. I am not in the sun. I am well covered with my uh, umbrella right here that's mounted. You know, there's just a lot of benefits to having a shark rack, even though they are kind of expensive. But if you make it yourself like I did, uh, you're not going to spend that much, man. I think I spent about 1100 on materials. And you know, I did all the labor myself. Uh, it's a lot of work, but it's it's worth it. I mean, I'm up here right now, just away from all the bugs. And that's another thing, keep in mind, the bugs stay close to the ground. So if you're up elevated into the wind a little more, you're gonna stay away from those bugs, mosquitoes, uh, gnats, horse flies, all that stuff, man. So let's go through it and uh, let's just show you around, you know? All right, so the first thing is you notice we're standing up here. Check it out. And we are standing on this whiteboard right here. This is starboard. If you guys ever mess with starboard, this stuff is pretty good. It's been sitting in the sun all day and I am literally standing on it and it's no problem. It's not even hot at all, not even warm. This stuff is great. Uh, it's very high density, so it's very strong. So you don't have to worry about falling through, which is awesome, especially when you know when you got a you got a little weight like me, you know what I mean? Okay, so the next thing is our backrest, and this is our backrest. It's a little shorter than the rest. You know, maybe just kind of lean up here and kind of just take a look, take a look out here and see what's going on, watch the rods. Uh, this is also where our flags are attached. They're attached right down here with these little brackets. So we welded these on and another one over here. You know, we got the, the pirate flag. You know what's up. All right, we got the, another bracket right here. And we just have these little safety clips right here. And this is just kind of holding it in. And another thing on this back rack, like I said, this is the shade. Look at that. We got a umbrella up here. This is up and down right there. And I've got a pin here. And then I also have a pin down here. And what that does is that allows it not to fly out of here and take off. You know, while we're up here trying to enjoy the shade, it's not just gonna boom, take off. So, okay, so that's the back of us. This is a picture of the back. And this is a picture of the front right here. This is the rod rack right here. We have a six rod rack right here. It holds six rods. So we bought these rubber grommets right here and what that does is that saves in here from being chipped because it is powder coat. So it will chip. So we've taken all the precautions so it doesn't chip. So we've got every single one of them have the rubber right here. So this is what's holding the rods right here. We've got a couple out. We have this one out right here. This is our 9 aught, And then we have a 6 aught right here that's also out. And it goes up. And that's what I was saying about the length of the rods because you got four foot here on top of the truck. And it goes up another uh, six, seven feet. So you're pretty much like 20 feet off the ground, two stories, maybe even three. So it's going to keep you way well above all these waves. The sandbar, first sandbar would be here, second sandbar, and the third sandbar. And you can see that we are at least past the second one, at, at least. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna make our angle a little bit better. So it's not sitting there rubbing on the sandbars. All right, let's go down to the hinges. And we were gonna do the slip 
in and pull out but i just decided to do a little more work during the engineering and the fabrication of this thing uh, we actually just went with a pivot style uh, hinge and I made a couple of brackets out of some angle if you see right there this is just some two by two angle that I cut down to one by two and put two pieces and then just kind of hinged it here with a bolt and this is the uh, little safety clip so it doesn't fall and then we just repeated the same thing on this side and as well as over here for this one okay that's it for up here uh we're gonna go downstairs into the truck bed and we're gonna show you a little bit about that so on our way down we're gonna be taking the ladder so here's the ladder there you go this is our ladder with our handrails there we go we got some grip tape installed right here so we don't slip on the uh pretty powder coating right here we have a good grab bar here so that way when you get the when you get your run up there you come up here and you you grab the grab bar and you kick your foot up here and then you and then you pull yourself up and get up there okay so another thing that i was thinking about is so what happens when you know i don't i don't need all this so what we did to fix that problem all right so we put these on the side to hold you know two rods one on this side and we got one over here on this side so if i'm not going to be using all the whole shark rack and all that stuff and i'm just kind of like going to back up to the dike or something like that or you know just want to use some smaller rods we've got that taken care of right here with this okay we're going to look at the what's holding everything up so what's holding the floor up is going to be these pieces of uh rec tubing these are one by two sixteenth inch this is also one by two sixteenth inch this is a one by one so you know with all this together it's very strong you can fit probably three or four people up there you know which you really don't ever need that many people up there but you, you never know some you know some people like the party you know so we've got four of these stationed all around okay over here and then over here and another thing i was uh worried about was you know how am i gonna hold all my rods you know i got all these rods up here and i got all this other extra equipment so what i really wanted to do is i wanted to have an open bed concept so i fabricated a rod holder within the shark rack so it could never be removed and it can never rot away and it's metal and it's powder coated and everything so let's check that out so here is that right here we have five on top and four on the bottom so that's plenty enough for the six shark reels and you know just a couple of things to cast around with but the main reason i did this was because so i really wanted to go with the open concept because i have a lot of stuff as you can see i have tons of stuff that needs to be packed away coolers you know i got more stuff here i got stuff here we've got stuff over here you know so i just really wanted the open concept i've been fishing with this truck for about five years now and uh you know that was one of the problems i had the whole time i've had the truck is you know no storage so this rod holder is a lifesaver okay to say the least okay so let's get back to the frame of this thing so we have these pillars holding it up right here all right so what's attached to that is some angle iron we just got some angle iron and we cut a piece long enough for our bed right and so our tailgate can close and uh yeah we just started that with the base and pretty much welded everything to this and then we brought everything to the powder coater and that's how you got this beautiful blue color look at this oh this is look oh oh does it match my shirt uh i wonder why <laughs> but anyways the powder coater did us right guys if you guys are trying to get your uh rack powder coated or get anything powder coated go check out bc coatings out in tomball these boys did me right and they got it done fast i do owe them a fishing charter trip so they'll be getting that very soon for hooking me up they did this in three days they got this powder coated in three days big shout out to jason the sandblaster if it wasn't for you this day would not be happening so thank you and we're going to be taking you and your two boys out fishing very soon so get ready for that and we're going to be making a video on that too all right well here it is in all the glory guys uh just give you a little walk around 
All right, let's get a little overview. This is the passenger side right here. Check it out. This is where the rods are. All the rods up here. Got that rod holder right here. And we got the multi-rod rack right here. This is the back of it. Got the ladder right here. This helps us get up so we can get up pretty easy with the handrail. Get that handrail right there. Got that other backup rod holder right here. Check it out, and here's the back that's holding the flags and the umbrella, Ella, Ella. All right, it's the end of the day. We done using it, so I'm gonna show you how it folds up. We've already got all the rods and reels off of the top, so it's real easy. Let's get up there and I'll show you how it's done. All right, because of the latches and the hinges I designed, it makes it real easy to disassemble and fold this thing up. Check it out. All you gotta do is pull these pins right here. Pull that one. And then we'll pull this one and then this part right here just lays down like a so right and then we just put these pins back in here so we don't lose them All right. then what we do is we pull these pins right here on this side All right, if you notice right here, I have these little tabs right here. Okay, you see that? So that's for when I lay it down and it hits this piece right here. It doesn't scratch it up and make it all messed up. All right, we're going to lay this down. All right. Just like that. And then we're going to put these pins in here. Put these pins in here and lock them down so we don't lose these guys. Bam. And well, bam. All right, just like that. All right, guys, you can see how it all folds down. It doesn't rattle when it goes down the road. All right, guys, that's my shark rack. If you're looking for a couple of ideas on how to build a shark rack, I hope this helps. I hope some of my ideas can be pulled into your project as well. And you know, that, that way I can live through you. So we're gonna get back to fishing. Uh, hit the comments, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about that color though. You know, Let me know what's up on that. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. We're gonna be doing some upgrades on this thing throughout the year. So stay tuned for that. So always hit that subscribe button so you can be informed when we make videos and you never know what's gonna happen. All right, we're gonna get back to fishing. We'll see you next time. Peace.